Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily take a stereo audio track and turn it into a mono audio track in DaVinci Resolve. Now in this method, what we're gonna do is take the left and right audio from a stereo audio track and combining that audio so that you hear the same sound on both the left and right outputs. An example would be if you were capturing audio with a stereo microphone, including the microphones built into cameras, which are normally stereo and you want this same sound from the left and the right to be combined equally and heard on both left and right. I tend to do this mostly when I'm capturing an event and there are speakers on one side of the room and then I move my camera around with a gimbal and then you hear the music more on the right side and then when I turn, it's more to the left and I feel like that's a little distracting so I wanna combine the sound so that way no matter where the camera is moving, the music sounds the same on the left and right channels. Now, if you have multiple audio tracks, just know which audio track you wanna do this to and make sure that whatever clips you want to end up combining to make this fake mono audio track, you have all the audio from those clips on the same track. So right now I only have one audio track, but you can do this to as many as you want. We're gonna to go to the Fairlight tab. I usually select the audio track that I wanna do this to. So that way on the right on the mixer, it highlights. We're gonna go down to the middle of that mixer and you see where it says pan, double click on that. Now that's gonna open up all your pan options for that one track. The only knob that you have to change is the one that says spread. By default on a stereo audio track, it's gonna be on full. Full will give you its original stereo and then when you move it all the way to point, it puts everything in the center, which combines all the audio to be equal on the left and right. And that's really how simple it is. Again, you can do that for as many tracks as you want, but it just really depends on what type of project you're working on. But just remember that it's gonna combine both the left and right channels, and it's essentially turning them into mono. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.